Welcome to another episode of Tag with PJ Till 2005, the PJ Till season. We're back to call the lane for the third round of the Great Lakes Challenge. To be straightforward, hopefully. Let's do it. I'm Gary McCord for EA Sports. My colleague David Ferdy is ready to call the action today. So let's send it down to the first tee. Welcome to round three of this PGA Tour event at Coeur d'Alene Resort. All right, par five to start the day. It's like the Alan Green in the background. Didn't realize that. You have the power, let's just blast it to start the day. That's a heck of a drive if I do say so myself. There we are. 364 yards. Easy enough, should be a simple eagle there to be honest, it normally is. On the green, but it's still a tough. Ah, oh, I was going for the double eagle. Ooh, impressive shot. And it's short, so I couldn't really spin eagle. it right. But I got close for an easy eagle, so we'll take it. In the cup for an eagle. So it's nice we can start your golfing session off with an eagle. We're still miles ahead anyway, it's fine. I'm going to win this tournament. I mean, if, if the still around at the, at the, uh, the core of the lane course, I'm going to win every time. The core of the lane's easy. This par four hole requires and the AI length. don't really change based on the course. Right, there is a chance we get there, but low chance. Oh yeah, 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 I, didn't get, yeah. I didn't quite get all of that. A little bit of a tough putt anyway, so a pitch shot isn't terrible though. This is right on target. Yeah, uh, I couldn't quite get it in. Now that's what you call being on target. But it's an easy birdie, so once again, we're not going to punish for being aggressive. That's what you call being on fire. 51. What, four par threes in this course? No, five, there's five, but two of them are quite hard to hold in one, so. The ones that go downhill can be tough. They are doable, obviously. But this beautiful par three. Yeah, so this is probably the easiest the one. Of Lake Coeur it's relatively flat, and it's not massively long either. So, I'm going to aim left a little bit to compensate for the wind. Look at this we haven't compensated for the wind enough, but we're going to go for it. I'm going to try and spin out the hole. Oh, I'm not by the hole. That's the way you like it. Went aggressive, try to hit the flag. But we've got a tough putt coming up. Well, this a long putt. Three straight birdies. Not really a tough one, to be fair, but. We'll take it. Now this there has we a go. Real chance. A little to the right there, but it's in the hole. That's all that matters. We have a high point in start, so it should be fine, to be fair. The fourth hole is a short Ah, this one, right. Okay, interesting camera angle. We can get on the green from here. Where, where's the, there's a hole right at the front. Oh, I don't like that. Take a little bit of power out. Just need some backspin. And um, we've got it. So 26 feet to the pin, but if you try and play it too short, you are screwed. Playing that long and taking a long putt is it, it, the safest play if you're going for the green in one. Yes, for an eagle too. Especially when the, the green's easy. <laughs> this should go straight in, to be honest. It's on its way. To be honest, it's you could probably hit that good. straight and maybe just get away with it. Oh, maybe not. That was right edge and that was just in. That's, would have been too far left anymore, so okay, maybe you wouldn't. But it's an eagle. Now, the shortest path for it on the course, one that is surrounded by the bunker. It's the easier of the two ones that are downhill. The second one I hate. Well, I don't hate it, but it's the hardest hole on the course. The totally At least for me. fifth hole features one of America's largest formal bunkers. Play a sandwich. This looks close. No, oh, this could find the rough. Ah, uh, a little bit of power, so that could have got in. I'm lying with the hole, but David, so that's the wedge, but I can't get any spin on that. That's yep. forward. Tiny little slicer. If we're going for the hole in one, you have to overhit that. It's probably the easiest one to hold in one, that whole position, because the other two are like further up the green, so if you overhit it, you're screwed, whereas that way you can overhit it and hold it back. Same with this one, to be fair, you probably want it. You probably want this one at the bottom of the green, because you can roll it all the way down and just try and get lucky. The sixth hole offers a spectacular view. The one where it's like, there's, there's a one where it's like over here on the corner, and you've got no chance, well, you, you have a chance, but not much. 
Play a power boost of seven iron, because it's downhill. This one's heading for the island of green. Oh, I wasn't sure about that one, to be honest. Not the best but, shot. Uh, made the green. It's respectable. Easy put, though, so he can't complain once again. 56 under for the tournament. A truly awesome display. To be fair, the, the, the first part three and the island green are the ones you want to hold in one. They're the easiest. The seventh hole is a medium length par four. Medium length par four, we'll just blast this. It's a high to clear the tree. Oh, I almost hurt myself watching that. I shall put us in a pitch position to try and get an eagle there. It's an unlikely eagle, but it's a chance. Gonna hit, hit this soft. This looks good. Really good. Oh, too hard. Oh, it, that needed to hit it? the flag. It's not happy. This would be seven straight birdies. That hits the flag, let's say. That's not a bad attempt, but it didn't hit the flag. I've got to settle for a birdie, only oh, just. But it's a birdie. There. It was 7.57 under by a miles ahead of Howard III. We ain't being caught. Well, the AI putting some better scores here. That's a 58. Another medium length par 4, which requires accuracy. Another one where we can get maybe into pitching range or flop range anyway. We can hit it over this bunker. The wind won't stop this. This is one of the best drives I've seen today. Hit down the hill. There we go. 361 yards, now time for the uh, pitch. I have to worry about over hitting this one, to be honest. Faraday, this ah, is so far to the right. Really good. Well, whatever I went aggressive, that was not a bad attempt, a but shot. a little too far to the right. So I, I didn't want to give myself a chance to hit the flag. That's what you want. There we go. Nice birdie. You birdie, birdie, birdie. I mean, I'm that far ahead, I might as well play the aggressive shot all the time now, to be honest. My stats are so far ahead as well that the, the, you know, the odd shot isn't a problem. The fantasy courses Number generally nine, don't punish me enough for that to be a factor. At least so far. Okay, that's a good power boost. That's a good power boost. Just monstrous. 368 yards, that's good. David? Just under 190 yards. It's going to take a pretty good shot from here. And the power boost to high four iron and backspin it if I have to. Four iron's a good choice here. Uh, I can get a sour uh, backspin on that. Shot. But, first of the goal, first of the hole, we've got an eagle. Looking chance going up. The greens are easy on call delay for the most part, so. It's it. under for the tournament. It doesn't get much better than that. There we go. 60 under. Crushing call delay once again, as always. Call delay is like the easiest course in the game, so. As long as, you, as long as you've got like a decent character and you know what you're doing, you're going to crush it every time. Nine, the tenth. That means far mile now is kind of front and right. So we want to aim like over here. Because the power boost, and it's downhill, will, will uh, take, take us past this rough so the wind won't blow it into the rough or the bunker, I'm thinking. And it'll keep it right from the trees. Pretty big yeah. tee shot for such a seriously untalented human There we go. We've got a clear shot at the hole. This could be a tough shot. Got to play a soft lob wedge. A uh, little too soft, but that's close. So I can't complain. That'd be a tapping. This attempt for a tapping straight birdie. Nice simple birdie. We're miles away from the eagle. So last time at Call the Lane, I got a 46, which I think is a standard score. If you get like a birdie and eagle, then no goal. Can be reached in two by only so I think one. I got one like pitching eagle, chipping eagle, but you know whatever you want to call it. But I got a part at the end because I'm an idiot on that on that hole. The long ranger just bombed. Long ranger, as indeed just bomb one. Absolutely bombed it down the fairway, 366 it yards. To be about 160 yards to the pin. Wow, was that a guess? You're about right. Try and play maybe a little along with a six iron and. Backspin this this a looks bit. good. Should be safely on the green. Ah, they're getting the backspin on that. Whatever it was, great shot. You need, you need like a nine iron 
a long you know, more, and more for, for the backspin stroke that I tend to do. Six iron doesn't really work. So close. Okay, well. Rolls in the birdie putt. One inch long on my ass. That was straight in. Gaddy's fired. Gaddy said an inch long. That was straight in. That's a Caddy's fault. Caddy's fired. Again. I wonder how many Caddy's I've fired at this point in this game. All right, simple enough to. Okay, law. Ooh, ooh, okay. Gonna play four and try and roll it to the hole. Nothing wrong with this approach. Be a lot of spin out of this. We're not gonna get it. Dangerous location. You overhit that. You are screwed. This putt would make it twelve straight birdies. All right. Right, be right. Got it. Oh, to be fair, I might have this overhit could that. get interesting. Oh, I haven't. It's fine. Still got a birdie on the par five, but that's an easy eagle miss, and that's really annoying me. So I mean, you, you miss an inch, you're screwed. Even though you know you, you chip it in an inch short, but you're an inch short on an easy putt. I've seen you bomb you're an idiot green before. This well, one's reaching. My is an idiot. That's downhill, straight out of the hole. This one's really killed. It's got a chance to get there. You in line with the hole. This should this. be an easy eagle. I mean, you, McCord. You can't do it better than this. This should be an easy eagle. There we Unbelievable. Are. That's four eagles, four eagles today. today. That should be five. But we move on. Yeah, holding one to counter that. That'd be great. <laughs> 14th hole is next. It's the, it's the uh, one of the, the easiest to hold in one. Features the world's only floating green. Holes at the front of the green, so if you overhit this a little bit and roll it back, you should be fine. Nothing wrong with that swing. Ah, oh, I did put a spin on good. that. I thought that was closer than what it was. I, I, I didn't put enough spin on it. That's annoying. Because that's the straight putt. So if we don't burn the spin, that's going to go straight into the hole. But we do technically have one more than one chance on that short par four, although it is very hard. Fifteen is a par five, reachable. Oh, here we go. Try and get an eagle here. Wins against it, but we got the power. Oh, this could be one of the longest balls. Long and straight. No trees nice. are in the way. Simple oh. second shot. We should be fine. I'm gonna play normal nine iron. This looks good. Should be safely on the green. Oh, not bad actually. Two is truly impressive. That's not bad at all. Close approach. Despite that, we need this a foot shot. Apparently, I'm not. I'm not convinced. Can you believe you this? Five eagles in today's round. With the eagle dance. Put on a show for the crowd. Let's move on. Let's try and end, end this uh, end this strong here. Try and just get a bit on the path on the last hole this time. The sixteenth hole is relative. Okay. Can't uh, get there in one, but we can get to the end of the fairway. This one has some serious distance. Just give us a chance to get in there in the hole. Here. I, I don't think we can pitch this. Yeah, I think our pitch is going to be short. Then again, maybe. Oh. I'm gonna try it. Oh, that's too hard. I like the looks of this shot. Oh, oh I hit the flag and that bounced out the hole. A little softer, that's in the hole. For 16 straight birdies. We nearly got that in the hole. That's your birdie. I played the risky strat and it nearly paid off. That's no. But I hit the flag so it didn't go in the hole. A little, like a, like one tap less power boost that might actually go in. That was the right idea. I just, uh, The 17th is a short par It's too four. hard. Just run for your own gun, mate. Alright, two iron low is going to be the uh, the strategy here. Going to aim right of the hole, so I think it's going to roll left once it gets up that hill. If it gets up that hill, it's hit too I hard. Played this any better myself? Mm. Can you believe that shot? Hit that a bit hard. 
But we have, tar we have target visions anyway, it's fine. Don't need it. At all. But we'll use it anyway because we've got, <laughs> we got them. This looks good. We'll get the eagle. Didn't realise the power boost would have that effect on the ball. That went far too far. But flat green, so easy put anyway. The final hole at Cordelaine. And the final hole, the one that I messed up last time. This time, I'll be making no mistakes. Blast it. Yeah, I gotta love that one. That's enormous. 360 yards, so it should be a love wedge, I think. Yeah, it's gonna be a love wedge full. Gonna take a soft approach to the love wedge. This one will end up on the putting surface. Ah, oh, put the sideway spin on it by mistake. I, I took the maximum off it. I didn't mean to do that. In, you're looking at a birdie on every hole on the course. I'm tiger vision this. Just to be safe, because we've got the tiger visions. And the hole. We get the birdie. And that should be another 46. That's a 47. Yeah. Okay, the 46 was actually fine then. I'd have done one better than what I, I, I would plan on doing. I think the only mistake I made was getting a bird instead of the eagle. Nah. It's not a good score. We're going to win. It's fine. Didn't get any chippings, which is annoying. Didn't get any holding ones. All of the obvious are, are hard to get, but that's basically my main goal at, at this point. Try to get the 20 holding ones required for Trevor Balls, and then that should. The rest of the trophy balls, maybe apart from the uh, driving one, the driving distance one, should take care of themselves. So next time we'll finish the, late, the Great Lake Challenge at Edgewood. Edgewood, that makes more sense. Edgewood, GC. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. So let's play Tiger's PGA Tour 2005, the PGA Tour season.